Hey guys, it's Danny, and for today's 101 ingredient, I'm covering coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is just that. It's the oil that's extracted from the flesh of the coconut. And it's one of the healthiest oils you can cook with because it's extremely stable. Now, it is a saturated fat. And I know that saturated fats have gotten a bad reputation over the last couple decades, but truth be told, saturated fats are great for cooking because they're real whole food fats that do not change composition once they're heated. So what that means is they don't oxidize easily, therefore they don't create free radicals in the body like a lot of the less stable oils, like say an extra virgin olive oil, can do if it's heated. The main fat in coconut oil is lauric acid, which is a medium chain fatty acid unique to coconut oil and breast milk. It's a power fat. It's antiviral, antifungal, anti-inflammatory. It protects against cancer, stimulates metabolic activity. It supports and boosts the immune system, and it lowers the risk of heart disease by increasing our HDLs, which is also known as our good cholesterol. And for those of you less impressed by the science of it all, just know that it tastes great and it makes your hair and your skin look amazing. Another interesting fact about coconut oil is that it's considered the low fat fat. It has nearly 2.2 less calories per gram than any other fat out there. So it makes a delicious and nutritious addition to any type of diet. As for the flavor, it has a very mild, sweet, nutty, kind of vanilla taste to it, and it pairs well with lots of different ingredients. But personally, I love it with scrambled eggs or dark leafy greens. When you're shopping for coconut oil, you want to look for oils that are unrefined or virgin. What this is going to mean is that they've been cold pressed and not chemically treated. Now, some people actually prefer refined coconut oil because it has a more neutral taste and smell to it, but just know that in order to accomplish that, it does have to be deodorized and bleached during processing. Now, a good coconut oil is not necessarily cheap. A container this size, which is almost 30 ounces, is nearly 20 bucks. But the good news is it lasts a long time and it's well worth the investment. Now, while it is becoming more and more popular, you may not be able to find it at your regular grocery stores quite yet, but you can always find it at Whole Foods and even Trader Joe's has started carrying it. If the two of those are not an option for you, you can also order it online and I'm gonna be sure to leave some links below for some good quality resources for you to do that. Once you get it home, you can store it right in the pantry or any cool, dry place, and it will last for nearly five years without going rancid. Now, coconut oil is a saturated fat, so what you're gonna see is that it's solid at room temperature, but it does begin to melt at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So during those warmer months, you may notice that your container of coconut oil is liquid. It's nothing to worry about, and it's perfectly delicious and nutritious either way. When it comes to cooking, Coconut oil really shines in high heat scenarios. And again, that's because of its stability. So things like roasting, stir frying, and even sauteing, coconut oil can be your go-to fat. It's also great for baking, and it can be a vegan's best friend because it's the perfect vegetarian substitute for butter and lard. And it beautifully produces nice flaky pie crusts, moist breads and cakes, and delicious cookies. Me? I use coconut oil nearly every morning and my latest breakfast addiction is a slice of Ezekiel bread toasted up and then topped with a spread of coconut oil, a spread of almond butter, and a little sprinkle of kosher salt. Mm to die for. Coconut oil also loves to be paired with sweet potatoes, used in curries. You can even stir it into some oatmeal or put a dollop into your shake or smoothie or just use it as the base for some fresh stovetop popcorn. There are so many things that you could do with coconut oil and I highly encourage you guys to give it a try. And if you're already using it in your kitchen, I would love to hear down in the comments below what kind of dishes you like to make using this delicious and nutritious ingredient. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure to check out cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another Ingredient 101. However, it does begin to melt at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it's the warmer months or it's hot up in your kitchen, 